Yes. Um, why was the mark? Oh, stop. Is it on the work? Mm. Okay. So use your brain to talk to me. I like her energy. I want everybody to speak like her. Go ahead. I'm just making fun of you, but that's called vocal noise. When you say um, that means that your brain is moving faster than your mouth gets the words out, so you use um as a filler. Okay? We all do it, I do it. Go ahead. Why was Marcus down last week? My my aunt she works for Gilbert Dragon and Health. Mm -hmm. And she said that the market was down all last week. Do you know why? Because it was in a bubble. The market went up about four or five years straight. The prices of stocks were going up, but corporate earnings and money that companies were making were not going up that much. But the prices were going up anyway. And again, I'll walk you through it one more time. This book goes up, 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 and I throw the book up. Does it stay up there? So that's exactly what the stocks are doing. As a matter of fact, if the book belongs right about here at the desk and it drops to the floor, then it's going to come back up. That's called reversion to the mean. Mean is what? Did anybody know what she said? Close. Someone besides you, because you're pretty active. This guy is real interested, right? What's the mean, brother? It is the average, okay? So return to the mean is the average. So if this is the average price, and say stocks go up 5% a year, all of a sudden they shoot up that much, what's gonna happen? It's gonna, no, it's gonna come back down to the average price of increase. So if it usually goes up this much, and then shoots up this much, the reversion to the mean means it's guaranteed to come back down to its average increase. If it usually goes up this much, and then it drops down here, What's going to happen to it? Go back up to the mean. The average. That's what they call the average. The average is where it's supposed to be over time. Anytime it leaves the average significantly, it's always going to return unless there's a reason for it to leave. Gentrification is a reason for prices to go outside of the mean. Okay, stop. What do you do wrong? Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Everybody has a few dollars in their pocket, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna start charging for um. Fair enough. Okay, and then I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a question, a challenge, an economic challenge using your brain. <laughs> Who wins that? It's all the money that I collect. Okay, so nobody says I'm pay me. Okay, <laughs> you'll pay. You rest. I'm gonna get the money for you one way or But you're gonna pay up. So anybody, everybody down with that? You wanna do it? Okay. So. Uh, uh, so no, the, I said, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the amount of sales that the object or any material gets contributes to like the prices like either rising or decreasing, right? I, it's hard for me to understand exactly what you said. Let me try and re restate what you said. A verbal filler, please. No, <laughs> you got to keep your mind, brother. Speak. Go ahead. So I'm basically saying like. Say if uh, is what do you do wrong? Like, like. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I gave you two chances. Did you want to hit the towel? You might put it back. Yeah, I'm gonna pay four. Okay, I'm gonna put a dollar in the pot four. Okay, if you do it again, you have to pay. You owe me two interest. You owe me a compound interest, right? Times that your money. Okay. <laughs> so, so any other okay. questions? Come on. Speak your mind. Speak your mind without saying um, like uh. Go ahead. Look at the stress I put them under just for talking. Go ahead. So the amount. Go ahead. <laughs> the amount. Go ahead. Sells the object gets. Mm -hmm. Does that contribute to the price? It builds the price historically. It builds a historical price. Okay, but. There's a difference between price and value. Price is how much someone charges for something. If someone pays that price, that's a transaction amount. That's how much it's sold for. Okay. In a perfect world, price should equal value 100%. Okay. Everybody here are Yeezys? Yes. yes. Right? What are Yeezys? Okay. So is the price and the value of the Yeezys equivalent? No. Prove it to me. The red hoodie, right there. All right. So the material that is used to make Yeezy is like worth like 
You finish. Yes, you. Oh. <laughs> chop, chop, brother. Come on, let's go. Let me get that dollar and finish it. Let's take a spoon. Give me the dollar and finish it. No. Why, why is not the value in the price of the used equipment? This is not hard if you believe it. You said it. <laughs> Can anybody, anybody loan those for this dollar and answer the question for them? I'll put the dollar out. I can't not, believe I'm paying not for it. answer the question. No, see, I love your energy, but you are too but dominant in the class. The Why is not the price and the value of these? <laughs> Everybody seems to agree on that, right? Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> Speak up, take your hand from the front of your mouth. I can hear you guys. Look me in the eyes. I looked on Google and it, it's worth eight dollars. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, dollars. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead. You give me a dollar after you finish. Go ahead. So, what? Broke, so I'm broke. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should change it from dollar to ten push-ups. That way, everybody can do it, right? Oh, Same wow. thing, that's right. Oh, all right. Go, go ahead. Well, one thing is good. I think I have your brains moving now. I think I got the brain juices going. I'm going to answer you. I'm going to call on you. I just want to make sure we get these definitions straight. <coughs> in Vietnam, let's assume these are made in Vietnam, which they probably are, where the cost of labor, where the, the, what it is to get people to work, is much cheaper than it is over here. If they can get the easiest made for eight dollars, that's not necessarily what they're worth. That's the cost they manufacture. That's the cost to make the mm -hmm. the cost to make them are not necessarily the actual value. You know, once these get in the market, you get the determined value. So you can make them for eight dollars. They're worth basically whatever utility you have. You know, um, between uh, running back and forth over a six month period, and the value you get out of running and walking in you know, them, that gives you an actual value. Anything above that is a premium, and that premium comes from marketing, right? Adidas cuts a deal with Kanye West, who's hot right now over the last couple of years. Kanye West has a lot of influence over kids your age, and they can show it apart with $200 to $1,200 for something that costs them $8 to make, plus another $20 to market. So their cost is $28. They charge anywhere from they charge $200 retail. On the resale market, which is what this article is about, what the app is about, and the app my son made, I see them go for $1,200, $600 for a $8 material. You see the difference? That's money. You're getting ripped off by ideas. But if it gives you, let's do the math, $1,192 worth of happiness for that pair of sneakers, then it's worth it to you. Is it worth it to you? Yeah. OK, go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, come on, dollar. <laughs> you don't even know what you're saying. Do you realize you're saying? I have nothing to say now. Oh, you have nothing to say now? Why not? 
you discussed it already. Well, I want to hear it come out your mouth. I, I, I love to hear the challenges. <laughs> I just want to hear how it goes. Yeah. You were saying that. Yeah, you were saying that the cost of the product it shouldn't like it shouldn't funny. give you happiness. You were you said like, right? Yeah. Did you mean to say like? Excuse me. You said ten push-ups, right? Ten push-ups, right? Afterwards, though. All right. That's it. I have my daughter doing with me. I okay. If she beats you. If she beats you with twenty push-ups. Fair enough. Okay. That's the point. Does everybody does understand? You have cost to manufacture, which is a cost. You have a value, and then you have a price. Okay. When you do business, if I went to the speaker business, I'm going to drive my cost to manufacture as low as possible. That's why I send it off to Vietnam, and I'm going to drive my price as high as possible. Price minus cost equals quick. I give a dollar to the first one, get the right answer quick. The average? Nobody knows this. You're in business. You're in business, right? You have a cost. You have a price. Price minus cost equals quick. Who said it first? I heard it. Everybody understand that? Am I boring anybody? Well, I'm talking to this brother, the back of this brother's head already. He already owes me money from saying, uh, like. <laughs> do you understand? Look at me. Do you understand? Yes, sir. What do you understand? He's mm -hmm. caught lying to me now, right? That's possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I was, diverged, I was diverted, but basically that's what I do. When I value companies, I look at things such as cost of manufacture, um, price of the product selling at, and the actual value whether it's their product or service or their actual stock. And when there's a big difference between the value and the price, I see, well, there's money to be made, not the money to make. During uh, the gentrification, when it started in Fort Greene and Clinton Hill, mm -hmm. you know, properties were selling at one price, especially there's some damage or squatters or people living in it. But they were, um, I valued them at a much different price. So I bought brownstone for two, three, four hundred thousand. Some I got free, selling them for two million, one and a half million you know, just a year and a half later. And during that year and a half, I'm getting a rent roll. People paying me rent for $80,000 80, a year. So now those prices have went up to several million. And so the price went up and went past the value. So before, I saw the value was here and the price was here. So I bought in. As the price went up and the value went up as well, but the price went up faster than the value, what should you be doing? Increasing price. So who said it? Which one of y'all? Who said it first? Who said it first? Who's Kwame? I don't know Kwame. There you go, Kwame. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You laugh, we're going to pay you off for doing well. I'll take one of you myself. I think it's a good deal. Should it would be more fun and interesting and engaging if you got paid for doing things right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, talk to your teacher. I'll be here.